Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Brick Duo, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk about the LEGO Creator roller coaster set and what we could potentially see in, for investing purposes and, and you know where I think the price will be because you know just based on how long this set has been out, it really should have retired in 2020. So I kind of see this set retiring in either early 2021 or maybe mid 2021 too. So first, let's just go ahead and talk about the set. Retails for $380, has over 4,000 pieces. I mean, it's just a really, really, really neat looking set. One that I kind of want to add to my collection, actually. Um, so I think it's definitely a unique set. We haven't seen any other large roller coasters like this. But I want to go ahead and take a look at some of the other amusement park series sets that have come out in the past years and what they're going for now. So the first one that came out was the Fairground Mixer. The set retailed for $150 when it came out. And you can go ahead and see from some of these eBay completed listings, 270 yeah, around 270 range it looks like based on some of these listings, maybe even a little bit lower, around 250 range. So around $250 is the, the selling price in that one, retail for 150. I'd honestly not say it would be, a, a, it was a really good investment if you went ahead and invested this one. I believe this one came out in 2014. I'm not exactly positive, but that just really isn't that great of a return on investment in my opinion. Um, there's certainly been other amusement park sets that have done better. One of them happens to be the Lego carousel set. This set I always thought was very, very, very cool. Retailed for $200 and let's see, $380 now. Really, really, really doing pretty good. I'm sorry, this is the carousel. I, I'm a, I, I'm, we're going to look at the carousel later. This is the Ferris wheel right now. Retail for $200. This set goes for well over $400. This is just a really, really great investment if you pick this one up. I know it's a larger price to pay for that $200, but it's selling for well over $400 kind of be able to see that double return on investment, which is what we're always looking for. And it's really nice if you're able to buy these $200 sets and sell them for double because it's just way less work. You're making 200 bucks on each of these. You know, after fees, of course, you, you know, cut down some of that. But yeah, just a really impressive set. I, I actually thought this set was way better than the Fairground Mixer too. So next up, we have the Carousel. Very similar. This one actually didn't retire too long ago. Um, this one retailed for $200. And now you can see for $350 or so with free shipping 380 yeah it's chrome really creeping up to that 400 dollars range really great investment saying that it just retired um just about a year ago and this is also a really good looking set you know kind of seeing a trend similar to the uh what i would consider the same path as the the, the ferris wheel so really the future looking i think is looking pretty bright for the amusement park series so I will say though that there's other been there's been other very large Lego Creator Expert sets. So if you go ahead and look at the Taj Mahal, this set retail for 370, similar price as that Lego roller coaster set, um, and it's doing pretty good. It's doing good in the aftermarket, but it's not doing anything great. And I think if you're investing 370 dollars, you're gonna look for more than just a hundred dollar return on your investment. Now another one was the Big Ben. This one set retail for 250, and this set really wasn't going up crazy until just recently. It's been seen a bigger spike. Now this set's going for over $500 in some cases. Yeah, about $500 or so from the completed listings on eBay. Um, so yeah, you could consider that's a good investment. That set's been retired for a little bit longer than some of the other ones. So there is that to think about. Um, but yeah, I'd say the Big Ben is a good investment. It's just kind of a recent spike too. But yes, some of the larger Creator Expert sets haven't done as well in the past. That's why this roller coaster one, in my opinion, is a little bit of a wild card. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think this set is absolutely amazing. And I do think it's a good investment, but it has such a high price to entry. I mean, you're not going to see your money double, you know, quickly from this set. Like this set is not going to jump to $800. So I don't want to give anyone any misconceptions. Like there's probably better, better investments for your time. But I will say though that like it, it is it is easier if you buy one set and you're able to, to, to sell it for a couple hundred dollars instead of buying those $30 sets and selling for 60. You know, you got to sell a lot more to, 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 to get your money. Whereas if you just bought one of these and sold it, um, that's a whole other conversation too, though, as far as, is it better to buy smaller or bigger sets? There's some more risk on the seller's end. If you're, if you're selling bigger sets, like if you get screwed on eBay, um, you know, it's very buyer protected. If you get screwed, um, it, on one smaller set, you're only out with 30 bucks, easy to deal with it. If you're screwed on one of these ones, you're out like 400 bucks, you know, it's kind of tough. Um, but I do think this would be a good investment. I'm not sure exactly sure the price is going to be. I don't want to give any exact numbers, but I, I see this set going for uh, over $500 and it retires certainly very quickly after it retires and i sort of see it creeping up even a little bit higher than that too um a year or so after it retires so definitely a safe investment i wouldn't i don't think we're going to see this thing double in price anytime very soon but one that i'm actually looking to possibly invest into 
um, maybe just to keep it too, because I feel like it's gonna be one of those ones once it retires, I really wish I picked it up. But just wanted to give you my thoughts on the Lego roller coaster as I think it may be retiring soon. Just wanted to compare it to some of the other amusement park sets. Feel free to drop down in the comments what you guys think about this or if you've picked up any to invest in and, um, you know, what do you think the set's going to do in the aftermarket? Um, feel free to leave it down in the comments. This is Brooke Duo signing out. Thanks, guys.